Well, some bombshell developments in Virginia where Attorney General Mark Herring is announcing he believes the state's ban on same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. He plans to ask a federal court to strike it down. Meanwhile, according to a new Fox poll, this is a national poll, voters remain split on the issue, unchanged from a year ago. 47% say good idea, 47% say bad idea. So, is same-sex marriage losing its power as a political wedge issue? Angela McGlowan is a Fox News political analyst. This case in Virginia is so surprising to so many people, Angela, uh, because just of the, the turnaround since Democrats swept the top offices in that state in the right. November elections. All of a sudden you have the new attorney general doing what the former attorney general, Ken Cuccinelli, said he would never do, arguing that the state's ban on, on um, gay marriages is unconstitutional. Well, then when Herring was a state senator, John, he was voting against the Constitution, if that's his argument, because when he was a state senator, he voted for the ban on same-sex marriages. Yeah, he says so, his thinking yeah. has changed. Is that the case, or is it that the political winds have changed? I believe the political winds in this case have changed. Listen, when you are a one-issue voter, and that will be your pro-choice folks, your sanctity of marriage folks, or your, you know, uh, same-sex marriage folks, you don't change your mind. You don't have an epiphany all of a sudden that you were wrong. And the bottom line is this. Here we have the chief law enforcer of the state actually not only trampling on those Virginians who voted for an amendment to ban same-sex, we have the Attorney General going against the Tenth Amendment that actually defends states' rights. This is a state rights issue, and the Attorney General, the first thing he's going to do is compare the ban of same-sex marriages, John, to uh, interracial marriage when the state said that that was illegal. Also, the desegregation of schools. Right. He's putting that on the same playing field. Well, it is interesting because he is going in the opposite direction from what most state attorneys general would do. Uh, right. You mentioned the Tenth Amendment, and, you know, we can probably put it up on our screen there. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved f to the states, respectively, exactly. or to the people. The people of Virginia voted uh, by a, a factor of 57 percent yes. uh, against gay marriage. That was in 2007. So the Attorney General just wants to throw that out now? Well, he wants to throw that out. And, and listen, same-sex marriage or abortion issues, they will always be a political wedge. So I'm not surprised that with the national poll, the country split. But, John, we cannot legislate morals and values. You can't uh, have a law dealing with how you feel about marriage. However, we do have laws that we vote for that's upheld by our states and also by the Constitution that our forefathers put in place. Even Barack Obama, President Obama said that he's for now same-sex marriage, but it should be up to the states to decide what they want to acknowledge as marriage or not. Well, it is a uh, can of worms that a lot of uh, states are wrestling with now after some of these court decisions and Supreme Court decisions. Angela McGlowan, thank you. Thanks, John.